Arcanum 12, the Apostolate. In the waters of life is the pentacle of Solomon, a variant of the six-pointed star. The three upper points represent the three traitors of Hiram, Abif, the internal Christ, Judas, Pilate, and Caphiasus. Desire, which symbolizes desire, mind, or rather desire, the egoic mind, and evil will. In the middle of the plate are two columns that contain nine steps, the ninth sphere being sex. Let us remember that there are nine heavens, the white column, and nine infernal regions, the black column. The order, in order to ascend one step, one must descend one step. Between the two columns, there is a man hanging from one foot with his hands tied. With his legs, he forms a cross, and with his arms, he forms an inverted triangle. The first figure at the top signifies that sex dominates reason. This is a symbol of just simply a triangle with a cross on top, rather an inverted triangle with a cross on top, on the flat part of the triangle. That's sex dominating reason. It is necessary to invert this triangle so that it is completely upside down. The triangle is a regular triangle with a cross upside down but underneath it. This symbolizes the chemical symbol of sulfur. The twelfth arcanum represents the twelve zodiac signs. The twelve apostles, the twelve tribes of Israel, the twelve hours of cooking of the alchemist, the twelve faculties, and the hydrogen SI-12. The twelfth arcanum of the tarot is the apostolate. The figure is of a hanged man forming a triangle with his arms, vortex pointing downwards. The legs forms a cross. All of the work has its objective uh, at in acquiring of soul or rather rather the acquiring of the soul meaning the achieving of the union of the cross with the triangle this is the great work the twelfth card of the tarot is sexual alchemy the cross man must be united with the triangle spirit through the sexual fire the Chinese tradition speaks of the ten trunks shikan and of the twelve branches, meaning the ten sferot and the twelve faculties of the human being. It is necessary to know that the tw uh, seven chakras plus the five senses are the twelve faculties. Undoubtedly, the dorsal spine has seven magnetic centers. These are the seven chakras, or the seven churches of the book of Apocalypse of St. John. Number one. Ephesus, base of the dorsal spine, four petals. Two, Smyrna, uh, Smyrna, at the height of the prostrate, prostrate, six petals. Pergamos, Pergamos, at the height of the solar plexus, ten petals. Tiatira, in the heart, twelve petals. Sardis, in the creation, larynx, sixteen petals. Philadelphia, in the midbrow, two petals. Laodicea, in the pineal gland, one thousand petals. These are the seven chakras, and with addition, or rather the addition of the five senses, one is uh, converted into an investigator of the superior worlds. These are the twelve faculties of every human creature. 
The universe came out from the Chinese Huel tomb, the chaos. The ten trunks and the twelve branches also came out from the chaos. That in alchemy is the uh, ens seminis, in which all of the uh, ens virtutis is contained, which is uh, the raw mater matter of the great work. This is the entity of the being in accordance to Paracelsus. This entity becomes the philosophical stone or lapis philosophorum for which the medieval alchemists were fervently searching. All of the Mysteria Magnum is found enclosed in this Summa Mater, Latin terms in order to denominate the Arcanum AZF. The alchemist must extract from this uh, Mestrum Universal, Universal, the Chaos, all the potable gold of sacred, or rather sacred fire, which has to rise through the spinal medulla and open all of the seven churches. We can unite the cross with the triangle once we have extracted the potable gold, meaning the cross man must be united with our inner, or rather our immortal triad. We must incarnate the spirit. Only thus can we convert ourselves into human beings. Before achieving this, we are nothing but intellectual animals. The great work or magnus opus is represented by the 12th arcanum of the taro. It is called magnus opus in strict esoteric language. The arms of the figure form the triangle, his legs the cross, his head is the union of the triangle with the cross through the potable gold. According to the Chinese, the god Fu Zi, the Adam Christ, was born at midnight, the fourth day of the tenth moon, precisely during twelve years. The, the virgin Hua Se, while walking along the shore of the river, the Simino liquid, conceived the Christ in her womb while putting her foot over the print of the great man. All of these dates are very interesting. The four days are the four elements. In the number 10 are all the secrets of the Lingam Yoni, representing the ten Sferot. The circle with the line cutting it in half is the mystery of sex. The number 12 is the 12 faculties required to incarnate the Christ in the heart. In the twelfth key of Basil Valentine, the twelfth arcanum is mm -hmm. profoundly studied. Thus, as the lion transforms the serpent into its own flesh when he devours it, so the power of Devi Kundalini, the sacred transmuted fire, eliminates all of its defects and errors. What is important is the great work. We already know the key, the Maituna. The alchemist must work for 12 hours in order to achieve the fervent, uh, rather, the fermentation of the gold. Behold the 12th Arcanum. We can have the joy of really being when we possess the fermented gold. The essence, fraction of incarnated soul, is bottled up in the pluralized eye. This is within the animal mental body and the lunar body of desire and manifests itself through the physical body. We are different from the animals only by the intellect because the animals have mind but not intellect. The authentic human needs to eliminate ego and to build the solar bodies which the transmutation of the hydrogen SI12 12 laws relates to. 
the manufacturing of the solar bodies is intimately related with uh, music and the seven notes. The hydrogen SI12 is made through initiating the process of digestion in the human organism. The sound DO when the food is in the mouth, RE when it reaches the throat, MI when it reaches the lung area, FA when it reaches the uh, stomach, uh, splenic and hepatic, SOL when it reaches the solar plexus, LA when it reaches the colon or, and pancreas, and C when the hydrogen SI12 is made and here it can rise to another superior musical octave. After the note C, the note DO begins again corresponding to other mu musical scales to another superior octave. The hydrogen SI12 has a second octave giving origin to the solar astral body. When the sexual impulse and the ejaculation are refrained, the hydrogen will pass to a third octave that will give origin to the solar mental body while this one is having a third shock. A fourth octave gives birth to the body of conscious will. All of this work is with the Maituna. Our divine being will enter through the pineal gland when we are in possession of the four vehicles. Then he will achieve the second birth and he will convert ourselves uh, into true human beings. The animal lunar bodies, we are intellectual animals. I mean, rather, while we have animal lunar bodies, we are intellectual animals. We are a chrysalis that can be transformed into a celestial butterfly. This is achieved with super efforts. The food of the physical body is the hydrogen 48, corresponding to 48 laws. If we save this hydrogen, we can, uh, rather, it can be transformed into hydrogen 24. 24 laws that serve as food to the solar astral body. This hydrogen 24 is wasted through excessive work, worthless efforts, desires, emotions, and anger. The hydrogen 12 is the food of the solar mental body. It is wasted through intellectual efforts. If we save the hydrogen 12, we will obtain the hydrogen 6 in order to nourish the body of conscious will. One who has the superior existential bodies of the being has the right to incarnate their divine triad, Atman, Buddhi, Manas. Then it is stated in, and rather is stated, a new son of man, a master, a Mahatma is born. Everything that is written in the book of the apocalypse is for the times of the end. We have to inform humanity that the times of the end have already arrived. All of this poor humanity is divided into 12 tribes. All of humanity is unfolded and developed within the zodiacal womb. The zodiac is a uterus in which humanity is gestated. The 12 tribes can only receive the seal of God on their foreheads by practicing the arcanum AZF. In quotations, and I heard the number of them which were sealed." End quote. Revelation chapter 7, line 4. Quote, of the tribe of Judas were sealed 12,000, and of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Quote. Revelation chapter 7, 5 to 8. Lines 5 to 8. There are only 12,000 sealed of each of the 12 zodiacal tribes. Behold here the 12th arcanum of the Taro. Behold here the union of the cross with the triangle. Behold here the sexual magic. Behold here the realized work. A living human being that does not touch the earth, but only with thought. 
Only 12,000 sealed of each of the 12 tribes of Israel will be saved from the great cataclysm. This 12, rather this 12,000 is symbolic. Only those who have achieved the union of the cross man with the triangle spirit will be saved. Related with the new uh, Jerusalem, we find the following. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, that were corresponding to the 12 zodiac, zodiacal gates in the universe, and in the human being. Continuing, and at the gates were 12 angels from the zodiac, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the children of Israel, the 12 types of humanities in accordance with the influence of the 12 zodiacal signs. Revelation 21, chapter, or rather, uh, yeah, chapter, uh, line 12. Quote, as above, so below, end quote. The human being has 12 faculties controlled by 12 atomic angels. 12 zodiacal signs exist in the starry space and in the human being. It is necessary to transmute the sexual energy and to make it pass through the 12 zodiacal gates of the human organism. The prophet continues speaking about the 12 zodiacal gates as follows. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. Revelation chapter 21, line... 13. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Revelation 21, line 14. The 12 zodiacal signs and the 12 energetic spheres interpenetrate each other without confusion. The solar humanity is completely realized in the 12 planes. The 12th arcanum is the foundation of the celestial Jerusalem. The twelfth arcanum is the symbol of sexual alchemy. This is the sacrifice and the realized work. One has to work with the gold and the silver. One has to work with the moon and the sun in order to edify the celestial Jerusalem within each person. Gold and silver, the sun and the moon, are the sexual forces of the man and woman. All of the signs and philosophy of the great work are found enclosed within the twelfth arcanum. The secret, living and philosophical fire is hidden within the Christonic semen. The mystery, mysticism of sexual alchemy is the mysticism of all the ancient initiates. The philosophy of sexual alchemy has its principles in the school of the Essenes, in the school of Alexandria, in the teachings of Pythagoras, in the mysteries of Egypt, Troy, Rome, Carthage, Eleusis, in the wisdom of the Aztecs and of the Mayans, and so on. The science of sexual alchemy and its procedures must be learned from the books of Paracelsus, Nicholas, Flamel and Raymond Lully. Also, we find the procedures hidden within the veil of all the symbols in the geriatric trick, geriatric trick, no, um, geriatric figures of the old hieroglyphs of many ancient temples in the Greek myths, Egyptian myths, and so on. You who are searching for initiation, you who read immensely, you who live fluttering from school to school, always searching, always longing, always sighing, tell me with sincerity, did you awaken your kundalini? Did you open the seven churches of your spinal medulla? Did you incarnate the lamb? Answer me, beloved reader. Be sincere with your own self. Put your hand in your heart and answer me with sincerity. Are you self-realized? Are you sure that with your theories you will convert yourself into a god? What have you achieved? 
What have you received with all your theories? One who wants to self, realize the self, needs the revolution of the consciousness. To die, to be born, and to sacrifice oneself. There exists a revolution of the consciousness when we decapitate the ego, the I. There exists a revolution of the consciousness when we build the solar bodies. There exists a revolution of the consciousness when we incarnate the being. Until that moment, we do not have real existence.